Hi, I'm Jolly, and the purpose of my channel is to help high-powered women just soar in eight specific areas of their life. Today, I want to talk about the biggest mistakes women make in choosing a successful career path. Marshawn Evans Daniels once said, when you don't have a clear vision in life, any vision will do. Now, we as women, we tend to do what is right and good. I mean, we just can't help it. Uh, our, most of us, I should say, not everybody, but most of us um, try to avoid risk. We uh, take the path of least resistance. We're we oftentimes do what we're told by our loved ones and picking our careers is no different. I mean, we play it safe. We hide out in predictability uh, or the safe zone, right? We pick a path uh, or a career that, what is it, makes good money, has great benefits, is in demand um, or is stable, whether it is becoming a doctor a nurse, IT, being a lawyer, all the things that we've been fed our whole lives. And we tend to pick that career path and that path becomes our life. Now, I wanna go over uh, some of the mistakes that we women make uh, in choosing a career path. One of the mistakes is that we, we choose a path that's already paved for us, right? We, we choose a path that our family says, hey, so-and-so, Bill Down the Street has done it. I mean, you know, it's already done. There's schooling that has um, been made for it. There's uh, coursework. I know about five people who've been uh, a nurse or gone down that way. So you know what, honey, you should do it too. Uh, we choose a path that is seemingly uh, seems like the right way to do things, right? So uh, I know in my family, uh, everybody was in the healthcare, specifically a nurse. I mean, all my aunts were nurses and I have three older sisters and all of them were in the healthcare field. So I was like, okay, I guess I'll be in the healthcare too because that's what I knew. Everybody around me was doing it. It's viewed as successful, typically the path that you choose, right? Uh, like I mentioned earlier, it you are making a killer salary. It's got great benefits. It's got a great 401k or a pension plan, right? Uh, it may be a path that's easy. Most people have traveled down that road, just like you. So, so when other people are doing it, we're, we have an affinity to want to do it too, because we always want to choose the path of least resistance. That's most likely, that's what humans typically do. We know we've picked a uh, maybe a paved path, uh, but it tends to be task driven, right? It's rarely quite, we're constantly doing, doing, doing. It's always busy. Uh, the approved successful path uh, can also be less intimidating. It's a wide road, like I said, most people have traveled on it. But what I want to do is now go into uh, talking more about gifts versus talents, because the path that we choose that was told to us to do, we can tend to be get good at that over time and be talented in that. But that's not necessarily what we're gifted to do. And so what I want to do right now is just spend a little bit of time talking about the differences between what you're talented in versus what you're gifted in. They may seem very similar, but let me tell you, they're actually different. And it's very important to know which one you're operating in. Are you operating in your talents or your gifts? Let's go. Now, your talents is something that you've learned to do. It is your comfort zone. It is what society tells us to do. Whereas your gifts is what you are called to do. It is a higher purpose that God has gifted you with and it is something that God gives you to, to complete here on this earth, okay? Your, a talent is something that is your formed identity versus a gift is your born identity. What do I mean by that? Formed identity is who you have chosen to be. It's who others have said you should become and what you actually become. 
That's your formed identity. But your born identity is something that God gave you before the creation of time, before the creation of the world. God put gifts inside of you and then created you. It is um, something that God gives you. It is your innate inborn ability to do and you do it well. Talents are something that you decided to do, right? Based on uh, what you thought was right, what your family, friends, those who you love said was good and acceptable and right. So you decided to do that. Whereas your gifts is God gifting it to you. It's given by God. Talents are doing. Gifts are about being. This is huge, ladies. One is about you doing. It's very task heavy, task driven. Gifts are you just simply being. You can't help how you are. It is who you are. It is a part of every fiber of your being. Talents are driven, right? It's achievement based, whereas gifts are directed. It is you getting in alignment with who God created you to be. Talents are about grinding, hustling, striving. Gifts are about grace, surrender, and obedience. Talents are about the fight. It's it's you, you've got to work for that thing. You have to work at getting good at a talent. You have to, it, it sometimes causes stress and anxiety. Whereas gifts, oh no, it comes from flow. It comes from ease. It just happens naturally. Talents are you trying. Gifts are you teaching. You can't help, but when you speak about that thing, it just comes natural. Talents are task driven and gifts are testimony driven. Tasks are you doing the thing. Testimony driven is you just speaking of where God has taken you from. It's natural, it comes with ease. Talents are your super skills, right? What you've practiced, what you've honed in on, what you've worked so long and hard for. For example, with me, I worked uh, very hard at how to sell. It did not come naturally for me. I actually hated it in the beginning, but I had to learn how to sell. And then after a while, after practicing over and over for years, I finally got into a groove. Um, for you, it may be organizing. What, what are you talented in organizing? It could be budgeting, right? But gifts are superpowers. So talents are super skills, but gifts are your superpowers, baby. It is just what you do. It contains anointing. What does that mean? You have power when you do it. You have authority when you do it. It is where you are supposed to lead and to dominate. That thing is what you are supposed to have an empire from. It is your kingdom that you are supposed to lead and dominate from. That is the difference. Talents require a lot of discipline, a lot of hard work. You have to practice and practice and practice. Gifts is your destiny. You don't have to do anything but step into that thing. Yes, don't get me wrong, with gifts, you have to develop and refine that gift, right? But it is completely different. One, you have to work really hard at to be good. One, you start out being good and it you excel to be a master. You, you own that sucker. That's what I'm talking about, destiny. Talents. You have to work at climbing that mountain, climbing that corporate ladder. With your gifts, wherever you go, miracles are unleashed because it is your gifts are you. It is about you being you. Talents have to deal with labels and titles and promotions and achievements and accolades, right? Your gift 
No, baby. It is about the lessons that you have learned. And it is about you being transformed and opening your mouth and let God use your message. That is your gift. Talents is success and safety. Your gifts, that's where you have impact and significance. Hey guys, if you've been enjoying what I've been talking about so far, give me a, a thumbs up and share this video with a friend, a girlfriend, your mom, your sister, whoever you think would be blessed. All right, let's continue. I want to just go over a little bit more about what your gifts are so you can know. Again, your gifts is given to you, but they are not for you. Okay, yes, you benefit from uh, from them, but it is for the benefit of other people. It is given to you for the benefit of other people, and it makes a positive difference in other people's lives. Another uh, thing about gifts is you will do it quicker, better, and keep improving leaps and bounds uh, over other people who are trying so hard where it may be their talent, but it's your gift, right? So that which is a gift for you, when you practice and refine and develop that thing, you soar leaps and bounds over someone who's trying to hustle and be in where you're at. That's why I say other people, when it's not their gifts, they are that thing is going to kill them because it's not for them. It is for you and vice versa. That's why we shouldn't try to work so hard to try to be somebody else. We shouldn't get so stressed out and, and try to be other people because baby, we cannot. We can only be ourselves. And guess what? We can be a hundred percent of ourselves and no one else could be like us. The best that they'll be is a replica. Another characteristic of a, your gift is that others desire it, they benefit they benefit from it and they love you for it. You know, a lot of times uh, people have a lot of followers and the followers are not following necessarily the person, they are following the gift that that person has. So if you have a lot of followers, um, I would encourage you, don't even, don't be about that life because they're really chasing after your gift. Gifts tend to ignite passion in other people, and it ignites the passion that is already within you. And lastly, your gift brings so much joy, not only for you, but for other people. It makes you feel alive when you're doing it, when you're operating in it, and it is what you love doing the most. If you never got paid doing it, you can do, uh, you can operate in your gift. You lose track of time when you're in your gifting. It is effortless, effortless for you. It is your superpower, your super ability, and you're super proficient in it. All right, ladies, that is it from me. I just want to leave you with a few questions. Growing up, who did the most important person say you were supposed to be? Whether it was your mom, your dad, an older sibling, a grandparent, who did the most important person in your life say you would be? And who did you decide to be? Lastly, who do you want to be? All right, friends, I love you so much. Remember, you are bold, you are wealthy, and you are powerful, and your time is now. Bye.